Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be bolting a Lifan 125 engine into a Honda CT110 frame. If that's something you're interested in, stick around and I'll get straight into it. So there are lots of reasons why people wish to fit one of these Chinese clone engines into a Honda CT110. But if you've been looking at doing it, you'll realize that although the engines look similar, they're not identical. They still have two engine mounts but there are quite a few subtle differences that mean that the engine is not a direct fit and what are the differences well firstly the mounting bolts on the Honda they are M10 which is this one on the Lifan the Lifan they're M8 so they're much smaller so the top mount on the Lifan needs to be drilled out accommodate the 10mm mounting of the Honda and also the shape of the engine is different and the location of the rear mount is in a different place now I can show you on these templates so this is a Honda CT110 template drawn by cutting around the frame and if I place that over there you can see the mounts line up. Let's offer up that template up to the Lifan and see the difference. So here with the Lifan engine and our template and we can see that the back mounting is a long way off and the shape of the engine, the contours of the frame is totally different. So the engine is not a direct fit and also the width of the mounts is different, they're narrower and subtly different on the life and so you'll need to move the engine across to accommodate for that and the sprockets are different on the life and the shaft is at 17 millimeters but on the CT110 it's 16 millimeters and the difference is the depth the depth of the splines and also the width the CT110 sprocket is quite a lot wider and the life and sprocket so you can't fit the CT110 sprocket on there unless you grind out the inside of the sprocket to make it fit I've loosely fitted the life and 125 into the CT110 frame let's have a closer look and you can see the difficulties that you'll face when doing this modification the engines just loosely held in with the 8 mm bolt supplied with the life and the engine will be sitting just a little bit lower because the normal Honda bolts are 10mm, M10 and you can see the bottom mount is a long way off and the contours of the frame don't match the contours of the Lifan engine. If you buy the adapter plate from the internet what that will do, that will take two plates from there and bolt onto the footrest mounts I'm not happy to do that. I'm trying to work out a way of utilizing this rear engine mount onto the standard mount. I think that will be a much better way of doing it and the whole plan as well is to do it without modifying the Honda frame in any way. I've fitted a chain to check the alignment of the chain. The chain is running right at the edge of the sprocket. My plan is to use two plates using the original mounting there and the Honda frame mounting there. I don't know if it will work, but I'm going to give it a try. And I'm hoping that it will be a much stronger, better mount than using a strap across, a flimsy strap across to there. A solid mount there will damp down the vibration and make the bike much better. So with the engine side by side, we can have a look at the subtle differences. On the left, this is the Lifan, on the right is the Honda CT110. And first of all, the top mount, now you can see it's just about 96.5. And on the Lifan, it's quite a lot, significantly narrower. And also on the bottom mount, And we need to move the engine across to keep the chain line straight. 
and the first thing we need to do drill out the bolt from M8 to M10 to accommodate the Honda mounting bolt. Ideally you would use a drill press but if you haven't got one the main thing is to keep the drill straight keep the drill nice and square and give us a good clean hole and as you know big drill slow speed small drill high speed so let's see how we go with drilling this The crankcase is soft aluminium alloy, so it shouldn't be too difficult to drill. Well that's the top mount drilled, and it's quite a simple easy job, so don't be scared about doing it. And now the 10mm Honda bolt, the mounting bolt, is a good fit into the top of the engine. So it doesn't look really good, but that's as close as I can get it. I'll turn the bike upside down and I'll show you what I've done to make a rear engine mount. Well the engine is in and it's absolutely rock solid. I made the brackets out of aluminium, aluminium, simply to, because it's easier just to prove that this works. It does work. Now what I'll do, I'll make some brackets out of steel and with an M10 bolt through there and a spacer through in the centre. And the spacer will also do the job of holding the centre stand down slightly. And that will work and I think that's a much better idea than the straps across you've got open access to mount your footrests. I've made this drawing this is what I would plan to do to fit a life and I made the plates before from just from alloy just to prove that they would work this would be from steel with a steel spacer end plates M10 M8 I think that would be a good solid fix it would be difficult to put together it's awkward to get the back bolt in particularly this one but I think it would be a good way to bolt a live fan into a CT frame. So I have proved that my different idea of making a rear mount will work. I think it's a better option than using the plates bolted onto the footrest mount. But I'm still not happy with the whole thing. Really the live fan doesn't really fit these CT110 frames. And anything that you do will be, well I shouldn't say bodge, will be more of a compromise to make it work. Why don't the engines fit? And I believe these engines were designed to fit directly into the older Hondas, the older Honda, the Honda 70s, the mini bikes. And I believe, I don't know for sure, but correct me if I'm wrong, that they bolt directly into that. Will I be rushing out to buy a brand new life and engine? Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'd probably stick with rebuilding my original Honda engine. I do wish that Life and all the other manufacturers, the Chinese manufacturers, would change their design to make them a direct bolt fit into the CT110 frame. Hope you got something out of this video. I'll see you in the next one.